hello friends now uh, the next topic which is to be discussed in frequency response is uh, high frequency response of dgt amplifier we have seen in case of small signal analysis of bjt amplifiers we have considered one model of bjt which was small signal model there were many more small signal models of bjt we had talked about x parameter model we have talked about hybrid pi model we have talked about diode model we have talked about re model and so on there were many models used for analysis of small signal uh, based uh, Uh, analysis fine now in this case we will be talking about hybrid pi model uh, basically this model hybrid pi model will be used for analysis at high frequencies of uh, that is analysis of bjt at high frequencies uh, this is i have drawn one simple layer diagram of bjt which is npn type bjt we have base terminal collector and emitter terminal of course i have shown you the layer diagram fine at high frequencies we cannot neglect the junction capacitances of bjt that is the capacitance offered by this is the collector based junction this is emitter based junction so we cannot neglect the capacitances of these junctions at high capacity high frequency reason being at high frequency the reactance offered by a capacitor is what 1 by j omega c Uh, if omega is small then the impedance or reactance offered by the capacitor is large so you can neglect that so at low frequencies these capacitors behave like open circuit but when frequency increases you cannot neglect these has to be considered so we will be talking about high frequency model of bjt that is nothing but hybrid pi model so here we have a, one internal terminal of base that is b dash which is not accessible but just a imaginary point inside the bjt so we consider the this is the model of bjt for high frequencies which is nothing but hybrid pi model fine here we have consider one terminal b dash which is internal to the bjt this is b dash terminal and we consider a resistance between external terminal and internal node or point that resistance is rbb dash that is rbb dash rbb dash is called base spread resistance rbb dash is what base spreading resistance that is the name given to this resistance fine this is not a physical resistance which can be measured reason being because we cannot uh, access this point we cannot measure this uh, externally using any instrument but we can determine its value mathematically we can see that later on how to determine that but this resistance between internal point that is b dash and external terminal of the device is nothing but rbb dash which is called base spread resistance fine then between this terminal b dash and emitter what is there we have one junction this is which junction that is emitter junction and on this side we have collector junction so let us talk about the this point b dash and emitter terminal first so between b dash and emitter terminal what is there we have the junction that is emitter junction so this emitter junction will offer some capacitance fine of course this will be having two capacitances one is called diffusion capacitance as another which is called depletion layer capacitance or transition capacitance so that capacitance is denoted by ce or in text in some textbooks you will find c pi fine so resistance between b dash and terminal e is uh, because of this junction uh, sorry the the capacitance between b dash and D e is because of this emitter junction which is ce so i have b terminal b dash and lower line is e terminal fine so between b dash and e we have a capacitance that is ce so this is b dash and between e we have the capacitance ce that is because of the emitter junction fine 
its details will be seen at later stage but for the time being just remember this is the capacitance between this internal terminal of base layer and e fine and we have of course the resistance of this region again because of this emitter this junction here that is rb dash e fine so that is dynamic resistance of this junction between base and emitter fine so that is rb dash e in some textbooks it is denoted by rp which is called input resistance of bjt fine it is denoted by rp in some of the textbook books like student smith fine now come to this side between b dash and c again we have a junction that is collector junction so it must be offering some capacitance so between b dash and c that is b dash and c we have capacitance offered by this junction because we have seen at high frequencies the the, the reactance of the capacitor cannot be neglected so this is cc the capacitor junction uh, that is uh, collector junction capacitance in some textbooks it is denoted by c mu fine cc or c mu i will be uh, explaining both together together because uh, so that there is no confusion in mind fine now there is resistance offered by this junction again the collector junction is reverse bias so it will offer very high resistance but still i am considering that resistance that is between b dash and c that is rb dash c fine so this is again very high resistance fine between base and collector because collector junction in amplifier applications is reverse bias and reverse bias junction offers very high resistance in mega ohm fine then come to the output side on emitter side we know the emitter current sorry the collector current is related to the base current what is the relation that is nothing but beta into ib but instead of that there is relationship between ic and vbe that is vb dash e this is b dash e if you uh, if you take this uh, point from here to here that if you take voltage from here to here that is vb dash e which is not directly accessible and that is given by transconductance G, gm into vb dash e i hope you remember so here current is what gm into vb dash e of course mathematically if you talk about it it is delta variation in ic and delta variation in uh, vb dash e fine so this is transconductance here in this particular model fine gm is called the transconductance of bjt which is nothing but variation of ic with respect to variation vb for small variation you can take this expression this expression as well fine so we have the collector current and we have resistance between collector and emitter that resistance between collector and emitter appears because of early effect fine so that will be discussed later but this rc is sometimes denoted by output resistance of emitter and output resistance of uh, not emitter uh, that is bjt output resistance of bjt is given by early voltage upon ic dash where ic dash is the collector current without early effect ic dash is collector current without early effect and if you take consider the collector current with early effect then that comes out to be va vc upon ic ic is biasing current so either you take va plus vc upon ic or you take va by vc uh, ic that is ic dash which is nothing but collector current without early effect which is nothing but is e raised to power vbe upon vt for this purpose you can go and see my notes on bjt as a device fine you can go see that early effect and the output resistance of bjt and so on. fine but here we will not talk about that again and again i assume you have seen my all previous videos still i have given you the introduction fine now rce is the output resistance of bjt and this is nothing but voltage dependent current source which is used in hybrid pi model so these are some of the parameters but but sometimes these resistances are denoted by conductances if you take this this is nothing but 1 by gb dash c if you take this that will be 1 by gb dash e fine so you can 
consider either conductance is or resistance is it is your choice here there are values of these resistances and conductances for example transconductance of bjt for particular bjt it may vary but approximate value of transconductance is 50 milli ampere per volt for a bjt npn bjt similarly this resistance rb dash is approximately 1 kilo ohm we will see that how to determine that later on similarly this rbb dash base spreading resistance is approximately 100 ohm so this base spread resistance is very small as compared to this resistance similarly rb dash c this resistance that is uh, the resistance between collector and this terminal of course this is reverse bias so this should be very high you can see this is mega ohm and if it is in mega ohm so this can be totally neglected because it is mega ohm resistance is just like an open circuit so for mathematical analysis for all the purposes now onward i will not talk about the resistance rb dash c we will be neglecting this resistance but uh, in some textbooks you may find this resistance given to you in model but there is no possibility of uh, taking this into consideration for mathematical analysis at high frequencies so we will be neglecting that resistance similarly we have uh, that is RCE that is output resistance of BJT that is again large resistance 80 kilo ohm that is 80 kilo ohm and finally we talk about capacitances the capacitance of collector junction which is reverse biased is 3 picofarad and character of emitter junction is 100 picofarad so this is uh, the collector the collector junction emitter junction capacitance is quite large in comparison to the collector junction region being if you know that is a junction capacitance is what epsilon a by w the width of the width of collector junction is very large in compared to emitter junction so collector junction capacitance must be small in comparison to the emitter junction because collector junction is reverse biased when junction is reverse biased the width of the junction will be large if width is large its capacitance will be small so collector junction has got smaller capacitance as compared to emitter junction this is just uh, an analysis fine so we have the, uh, the different parameters the values of parameters there was one question in engineering services based on these values as well although it's difficult to remember but you can remember relatively for example this must be largest because it is reverse bias then this is larger early effect resistance due to early effect is larger and rb dash is smaller small and rb dash is further uh, you can say small but it is smallest just just relatively you can remember because there is a rare possibility that they may be asking you one parameter value but there can be question on matching the values of four parameters and if you remember the relative comparison of the different parameters you can easily match there were matching there was matching type question in engineering services from these values in uh, i don't remember the year but there was one question fine in gate there is no possibility of value question based on the values so uh, this is uh, all about the small signal model of uh, no small signal rather hybrid uh, pi model of bjt which is used for high frequency response of bjt uh, later on we will be talking about the different parameters their mathematical expression the capacitances of uh, bjt in my further videos just remember this uh, pi model of bjt and i have just compared with the, the bjt layer diagram so that you can easily remember the different parameters of the model so wait for my next video where i will be talking about the different parameters and the capacitances of the hybrid pi model thank you very much for watching the video